ass. Shake that ass, it's coming in and it's coming fast. I stack it up like I'm Jewish. I'm the shit like Kamanua. Ask about your vest though. She gon' tell you I do it. I put it on my mama. I'm a young nigga about Guala. Don't compare me to a lame if he can't match my dollars. Don't fuck around with rock rollers that'll bite you up and then spit you out. I, I guess she a dog, cause she bite me up and then spit me out. I'm faded, what I'm sad. I'm out my mind, ho. Sometimes you ain't gotta give a fuck, and right now I'm on one. What is going on YouTube land? I am Chris Catalunya. Before we get into this shoe review, go ahead and check out my Instagram, Chris Catalunya with the underscore at the end. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. And we are inching closer to that 8,000 subscriber mark here on this YouTube channel. If you're subscribed, thank you for your support. If you're not, definitely hit that subscribe button because once we hit that 8K mark, I'm gonna give away some prizes like the Supreme Cat in the Hat tee in a white t-shirt. It's a size medium. I'm gonna give away a Supreme Balaclava one of those face masks it's black in a size small to medium and I have three bathing ape magazines in which they have accessories in the inside of them this one has the babe sling bag on the inside this one has the babe kids bag on the inside and this one is the babe wallet so if you want to win some prizes subscribe to the channel now this video would not be possible without the assistance of kicking it which is a sneaker boutique located in the domain shopping center in North Austin Texas so you can hit them up for your Nike needs your Adidas needs if you need shoes, if you need apparel, and if you don't even want to shop, if you just want to talk shoes or talk sports, that is definitely a place where you can hang out that. They have a lounge area, they have a bar at the back where you can get some drinks. It is a, a really chill spot, hence the name Kicking It. Back in the year 2014, we were blessed with a pair of shoes from Nike. It was the Air Max 90 Moon Landing. Five years later, 2019, we are now blessed with this pair. This is the Nike Air Max 90, the Mars Landing. The story behind the shoes, the designers wanted to use an official photo of Mars, so they borrowed this image from the Mars Opportunity rover, which was launched from Earth in July 2003 and actually finished its mission this year in February 2019. And if you want to get a little bit nerdy, the Opportunity's four main goals was to one, determine if there was life on Mars, two, determine the climate of the planet, three, find the geology of Mars, and four, prepare for human exploration. My first impression of the shoe, I was really excited. My friend had texted me an article about it and I was just like, oh man, this is just the moon landing all over again. Just reminiscing about 2014. It also helps that the Air Max 90 is one of my favorite silhouettes from Nike. And because space, man, it's space. In talking availability, I do believe that this shoe will be offered at your local sneaker boutique, not your foot lockers or your finish line, but things like sneaker politics, nice kicks, or kicking it in this case, which I'm very glad that they let me borrow this shoe, they entrusted me with this shoe to review. So seriously, if you're here this weekend in Austin and want this shoe, go to kicking it at the domain. The Nike Air Max 90, the Mars Landing, is retailing at a price point of $160 USD. Add a couple dollars for taxes just based on your location. In terms of resale, looking at StockX, looking at GOAT, and again, this is before the release actually happens, the shoe is going for anywhere for about $250 to about $350, which is quite a markup. I do believe once the shoe is released that the numbers or the resale pricing is going to go higher than that. I don't know what stock numbers look like, but... This is a pretty coveted shoe. Buying this shoe from the store, you're provided with a normal Nike orange box. So orange box, Nike white font. At the front, you have your sizing label right here with the suggested MSRP. On the right side is the Nike emblem, and then Nike at the rear, Nike right here, which is a lot bigger than on the other sides. And then you have like your Nike propaganda on this side. And then when you open the box, it's your white tissue paper. The upper. The upper on the shoe is quite interesting, especially since you don't have the layered panels that you do on a normal like Air Max 90 shoe. It is quite weird. You don't see any of the seams. You don't see any of the stitching going on. You don't see layers going over layers. It's just, it's just kind of weird. It's pretty cool how they did the upper of the shoe. It's like molded into that Air Max 90 styling. And then on top of that mold, they put like that photo where you had the Mars surface all over the shoe. And it doesn't repeat itself. 
it's just one photo. It's almost as if they like dip dyed it or something, but I'm more than sure they didn't do that. And I'm not even sure what this material is, just kind of confusing, but cool. Taking a closer look at the upper, you'll see like the valleys and the craters of that Mars surface going on and see some mountain ridges. It's just pretty cool. Now, you'll see some of the molding going on where you have the Nike swoosh right here. And in traditional Air Max 90 form, we have like this grid waffle right here that says Air Max right there. And that's done up on the lateral as well as the medial portion of the shoe. It's just crazy to me that they molded almost to perfection of a regular Air Max 90. Another feature that is cool about the upper of this shoe is that it's done up in a 3M reflective material. Alexa, lights off. So you can see some of that reflective action happening. Moving into the lacing system, the eyelets are actually punched into the upper molded material and the default set of laces are of this orange color, flat shape, and cotton build. We did receive two additional sets of laces that come with the shoe and they were actually attached on the right side of the shoe on the left shoe right here. And the two colors that we got were of an orange color with some reflective hints and they're of the same flat shape and cotton build. And then we also have a black pair of laces with a light wax coat of a flat shape and same cotton build. Behind those sets of laces is the tongue which is padded and it still applies that same Mars like surface photo on the top of the tongue. At the top of the tongue we have the silver patch right here that is stitched in and we have that Nike imprint and it says Air Max at the bottom of that and the reason why it's done in silver is to mimic like the metallicness of like the rover. Moving towards the heel we have another silver patch right here just to resemble that metallic feel of the rover and stamped on it has the Nike Air swoosh look logo right there and some lines going across. Now this is actually where the lateral and the medial side of the seams they actually meet back here. Now under all those layers is a TPU plate. This is otherwise known as the heel counter and the reason why this is employed is to provide your foot stability and support. So if you try to press on it you'll need a lot more force than what I'm applying to this to press down but it keeps your foot up. The lining of the shoe is done up in a mesh material and is of an orange color which actually seems a lot brighter than the orange that we see on the exterior of the shoe. It is padded on the inside of the shoe, on the lateral, on the medial, and the heel of the shoe. So it feels pretty comfortable when your foot's inside. It definitely feels comfortable to the ankle. Removing the insole from the shoe, we have that image of the Mars surface where you have the dark mountains right here and then it gets to that brighter orange. At the heel, we have this Nike Swoosh Air logo done up at the back right here in a silver color. And this fabric is actually placed on a thin piece of gray foam. The midsole of the shoe, it's made up of EVA foam. In this case, it's Nike's Phylon technology. And what I like about this midsole is that it's colored in black and then you have some silver paint splatters on it. So the black looks like space and then those paint splatters actually, they look like stars or galaxies. And that definitely ties into the whole space theming or the Mars theming. And in traditional Nike Air Max 90 form, we have those lines going across and then we have that Nike Air unit right here. And enclosed inside that bubble, we have these structures that are done up in a silver color. Now that Nike Air unit is to provide cushioning for your foot as well as that EVA phone. So paired together, they are matched. As we move on to the outsole, you'll see that it is a translucent blown rubber material and you can see through it that there is some traction markings going on. And this is to resemble the traction marks of the Rover vehicle. And I thought it was pretty smart to employ the traction of the wheels with the traction of the actual shoes. It just makes a lot of sense. So the traction marks of the actual shoes, they're done up in grid or waffle form which is pretty popular or pretty well known to the Bowerman series of shoes. If you know anything about Nike shoes specifically, you'll know about Bill Bowerman. Now let's talk sizing. Normally I'm rocking a size eight and a half or a nine US in a Nike shoe. For this particular size, I did go with an eight and a half, not knowing that I probably should have went with a nine. These definitely don't fit true to size. If I were you, I would go a half size up. And I say that concerning the length. I don't say that concerning the width of the shoe. The width of the shoe seems pretty fine to me. Now in terms of comfort the shoe isn't that comfortable especially since there aren't any access points for air to flow through to your foot however in terms of cushioning with that nike phylon and that air unit at the heel the shoe feels pretty comfortable Overall, I think the Nike Air Max 90, the Mars Landing, is a great shoe. I think the storyline is well thought out, and I think the design was executed very well. I love that 3M reflective material on the upper of the shoe, and I just love how they included a real photo of the Mars surface all around the shoe. And not to not have it repeat, that's pretty awesome. And this is probably one of my favorite Air Max shoes to date, even more than the Off-Whites. One of my favorites, not.
my favorite. Again, I love that Mars surface on the upper of the shoe. I love the space theming on the midsole with those silver stars. It's just pretty cool. And then the actual traction of the Rover and how it's actually on the traction of the shoe. That's just pretty cool. And the designers did a very good job on this shoe. The Mars landing shoe, it is priced at $160 USD and I only see the resale on the shoe going up and up and up. All right guys, I think this is a good stopping point for this video. What do you think about the Mars landing, the Air Max 90? Is this a good pickup, a bad pickup? What do you think about this shoe in comparison to the moon landing shoes released back in 2014? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Go ahead and check out my Instagram, Chris got the Luna with the underscore at the end. Go ahead and like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. And again, once we hit that 8,000 subscriber mark here on this YouTube channel, I'm definitely going to do a giveaway. And who knows, maybe you'll win. All right, guys, I am Chris Catalunya, and we will check you next time. Cheers. See you now.